potassium bromide's Lewis structure needs to emphasize that potassium is a metal, which, meaning it comes from the left side of the periodic table. It is in the group called alkali metals, after all. And bromine is a non-metal. comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. A metal and a non-metal will bond together to form an ionic compound, meaning that electrons are transferred from one atom to another. Potassium in group one brings one valence electron with it. Bromine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now again, ionic compounds, metal, non-metal, is a transfer of electrons. The metal will give its electrons away to non-metals until everyone is stable and happy. What do I mean by that? I mean the octet rule is satisfied. K, or potassium, loses or gives away its only valence electron. It now has an empty outer shell. Well, I guess that means that the next shell down is the outer one, and it's full. That's why we didn't show it. The point is, it's stable and happy because it gave away its one extra. Because it gave away a negatively charged electron, it actually gets a plus one charge. Bromine, on the other hand, is a nonmetal that accepts that one extra electron. It brought seven with it and has an extra for the one that K gave it. We show that it accepted an extra electron with square brackets, which they both get, by the way, because they're both ions. And the extra electron gives it a minus one charge. This is the complete Lewis structure for potassium bromide, showing that K gave away its one valence electron, and bromine accepted that one extra to give it a full octet. Beautiful. Best of luck.